Hi everybody and welcome back to my Corvette channel. Man, we have so much fun promoting this car and its lifestyle. However, if you have a C8 2020 model and you try to do the recent over the air update, you're not having any fun. I mean, you follow the instructions, you hit the buttons on the screen, you shut the car down and the next time you came back to the car, it was dead. How do you get in your C8 Corvette from the outside if you have a dead battery? We're gonna show you that here in just a moment. And so you have a full understanding of what this recent over-the-air update was to the 2020 Corvette. See, there's a parasitic draw on the battery from the radio, and this update was supposed to alleviate that. In the event that it didn't, and you tried it again, most cases it worked just fine. We personally recommend bringing it back to the dealership, though, and doing a direct download. But before you can do any of that, you've got to get in the car and get her powered up. But real quick, before we talk about accessing the vehicle from the outside, if you have no power, if you're inside the vehicle and had a power loss, on the outboard of the driver and the passenger seat, you have this lever here on the floor. With no power, this is not gonna work. This will be the emergency way that you can manually open your door from inside the car if you had no power. An important reminder for you there. Now, if you have a dead C8 Corvette, there's two ways to enter the vehicle from the outside. First, you gotta start on the side of your key fob, but that little tab down there, push that and pull out your emergency key. And the first access is actually hidden behind your license plate, right back in there. So put your key in this way, see how it's angled to the right? Turn to the right, manually pops open your hatch. So yeah, it lets you into the hatch area and the engine bay, but if you have a dead battery, you need to get to the front because that's where the battery's at. So how do you get there? Now this one might require some knee pads. <laughs> yeah, this one can be just a little tricky and it's not underneath the door handle. It's in the rear quarter section here of this vent and it's way up underneath. Another keyhole slot right in there. If you can see my finger pointing to it, put your key in there so you can manually open this door. Oh, real quick, it's a tight contour in there. So make sure you put the key in right. See exactly how I have it? sitting like this it goes in you don't want to do it like this because it'll rub against the body you want to put it in just like this turn to the right now your door's open but you're not done yet yes just because you have access to the interior of the car you've got to get to the front because that's where the battery is and with no power to the car this is not going to work you manually have to open up the front and that can be a little bit of a task. Again, I think we need those knee pads again. And way up underneath here on the driver's side, you can see way back here is a cable, a little loop. It might even be tucked behind there. You gotta grab that loop and you have to pull it hard two times, not just once, two times, and it'll manually open up that front trunk. So as many of you know, the battery's back in here. To get to it, you have to take these plastic pieces off, just kind of reach underneath of it and pull them out, both sides. This way you can gain access to the battery area. Now there's your battery. If you're going to jump off your battery or charge off your battery. Many of you have the battery tender from Chevrolet. Be in a box like this. It'll plug in here. Once you gain access to the front trunk area, many of you want to try this first. Plug in this. Plug it in here. It's gonna be plugged in for quite some time, maybe overnight, see if you get some power, and again, get to the dealership to do a direct download, and that should alleviate any problems that you've been having. I know technology's great when it's working, and I hope this video today helps you in gaining access to your C8 Corvette in the event that you had a dead battery. Then you know what steps to follow so you too can get back on the road enjoying your Corvette. I enjoy having you here today. Subscribe to our channel and come back and see us again. Like I said at the beginning, we have all kinds of fun promoting and sharing the lifestyle of America's sports car. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Ah!